Hey everyone! So today's video is going to be all about how I made the ramp for my CNC cage. So I often get questions um, asked about how I built it and that kind of thing and I thought instead of going through and answering them all individually I would let people know that I'm going to do a video on the topic and here is that video! So um, for anyone who has a CNC cage already or perhaps you're um, not yet a guinea pig owner but you're planning to build them a CNC cage when they do arrive and you would like to build them that top level and upper level um, then obviously having a ramp is essential and I hope this video will help you out and kind of show you a simple alternative way to make a ramp. So if you're like me and you have zero DIY skills and you don't own like power tools and whatever is required then you'll be glad to know that there's no screwing bits of wood together, there's no drilling or there's no um, installing a hinge or anything like that. Um, hopefully you already have the materials for it lying around in your house and it's really really straightforward to build and it doesn't take much time at all. So I'm going to show you the ramp in a bit more detail and I'm also going to give a quick introduction to the guinea pigs again. I know a lot of you uh, subscribe and watch a lot of my videos but it is 2015 and I know I do get new viewers so I thought this would be a good time to kind of give everyone a little introduction to the piggies um, if they do want to follow the videos in the future. So let's get on with the video! So here is my guinea pig CNC cage and as you can see there is the upper level and there is the ramp which is going to be the focus of this video. <laughs> but first things first, uh, a quick introduction of the girls. Um, if you don't know already then I have two female piggies. Over here we have Annie. Hello Annie. Hello sweet pea. <laughs> so Annie is a Texel guinea pig. She's obviously white with a little brown head and um, she's Texel means that she's got this lovely long curly hair which actually she doesn't look that long haired um, but that's because I do keep it cut quite short for her. She's a lot more comfortable that way. And then over here, sulking in the corner in the dark where we can't see her, is Sprite. So Sprite is my other guinea pig and she is a lemon agouti piggy. She is. So a gooty means that she's got the in each individual hair shaft kind of changes colour part way through. So for a lemon agouti guinea pig, she's got the colours of brown and then a kind of um, like a pale yellow lemon colour. Here is upper level. It is a two by 1.5 and I've just assembled all the everything which holds up the level is literally just the CNC cage grids that you get and cable ties so actually under here there are four grids kind of uh, layered over each other uh, two on this side and two on this side and everything is cable tied together and then this is the supporting grid which holds up the uh, top level so it's all secure and there's no way it's going to fall down and then I have the top level as just a simple Corex Coroplast uh, box really uh, built in exactly the same way as you build the uh, base of the cage and then the ramp is also made from Corex. So that's the kind of base uh, material that you can't really see because it's all covered up with other <laughs> things. So if I take off these uh, fleece covers, then hopefully, <laughs> sorry Piggy, <laughs> hopefully you can see that it is just Corex. So here is the ramp with the covers taken off and it is just one piece of Corex that I've scored and pulled the edges up as you would when you're building the cage base. After you've got your piece of Corex, your rectangle, you've made sure that it's uh, the right length so that it can reach from the top level down to the bottom level and also that it's a kind of nice gradual slope because guinea pigs are in no way uh, massively good at agility so it does need to be quite, quite a, a gentle slope for them to be able to use it easily. So when you've got your rectangle you've scored it and you've got your edges like so 
then just get yourself an old piece of carpet or it could be any other material really but um, carpet generally works best because it's nice and grippy for them and also it's kind of quite a strong it's not going to wear down really at all so and all I did was I cut it roughly <laughs> to the right areas you can see it's not perfect but it's close enough just a strip of super glue down the middle um, so it is stuck fairly solidly but I can lift it up because the glue's in the middle um, and it doesn't really need to be stuck down that hard I mean like your general PVA glue would probably do the job because it doesn't really tend to shift around much not as much as you'd think anyway so then once you've got that um, it's a, just a case of how to attach it to your top level and you kind of have two options here you can either attach it to the corex on the top level um, or you can attach it to the grids which hold up the top level and I used to attach mine to the corex but I found for um, transporting the cage and um, moving things around it was much easier to actually attach it directly to the grids and that also means when you are cleaning and you want to remove the top level it, you can just lift it all off as one piece you're not going to have the ramp coming with it which is what I used to have which uh, in hindsight that was a bit of a silly thing for me to do so yeah I'd recommend you uh, attach it to the grids and what you have to do to attach it is get yourself some cable ties and then using scissors or something like that make a hole, um, two or three holes in the bottom of the corex of the ramp that's covered up by the carpet so when you're sticking your carpet on don't um, go round all the edge make sure you can still lift it up a bit so you are able to get to the holes So. Mine's fairly stuck well in the middle, but I can lift the, uh, the outer edge there. And then, oh, okay. So you can see how I've attached it here. And you can also see that it doesn't last forever. The holes do wear through, but you can make yourself some new holes. So it's best to have a number of holes. And then if one kind of collapses, the whole thing isn't going to drop down. <laughs> so at the moment, I've got two cable ties with punching through those holes and holding it onto the grids of the top level support and also for cleaning purposes you can they do act like a hinge so you can just lift it up lift the whole thing up and I actually lift it all the way around and lean it against the wall when I'm cleaning the uh, the bottom level when I'm changing the fleece so it works in exactly the same way as like a wooden one with hinges on except it is much much easier to build so the final stage of making this kind of style of ramp is to make yourself some covers for the edge it's very important that we cover up these sharp edges um, because the corners especially are quite sharp and we don't want our guinea pigs to hurt themselves on them and that's also why I use a tunnel here for them to get through so that there's no way they are brushing up against these too much and there's no way that they're going to cut themselves or anything on there so making the covers is really simple you just need some old material or some kind of fleece or anything really um, as long as it's kind of thick enough to make sure it's a good barrier to them getting hurt at all by the corex and you just need to measure a piece that's long enough it doesn't need to be exact especially if the fabric is quite stretchy and then um, simply if I turn this cover inside out you'll see so then all you do is you just stitch the ends together you don't need to have a sewing machine you can just do it um, with a, a needle and a thread um, so literally you just do one seam at this end and then at the other end you do another seam there so then when you turn the cover inside out <laughs> if this is going to work with one hand yeah so if when you turn it inside out you've got a nice sharp corner that you can fit easily over your corex and then turn the other corner inside out and hook it over that top end and as you'll see the the sides of the ramp um, because we've just scored the corex and lifted it up 
it isn't like at a perfect right angle but this doesn't really matter because um, guinea pigs don't really need ramps with sides on them at all they get up them perfectly fine um, they don't like there's no risk of them falling off especially um, when you've got not got them very high like this but I like to have the sides on just so that we c I can like make sure the corex is totally covered and protected so there's the overview of the ramp again and are we going to get a demonstration from Sprite? I'll just encourage her. <laughs> there we go. So as you can see the guinea pigs use it really easily and um, it's a really great way to give them uh, even more space. You can use the top level for whatever you want. At the moment I've got it as kind of a, <laughs> a hay room for them. <laughs> what are you doing under there? You're just covered in hay now, aren't you? Yes. Are you going to show us as well, Annie? There we go. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so that was how I built my ramp, and I hope uh, everything made sense to you. It is a really simple method, but if I didn't explain some things properly, then I'm going to write a full step by step instructions in the description box. And also, if you have any questions in the comments, then just post a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So I hope you found this video useful and good luck with building your own ramps and your second levels to your CNC cages. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.